What's up and welcome back. So we got my hood taken off and you guys know I cut it in last night and did all the jams on the doors and under the trunk. But before I bolt this hood back up, I wanna go ahead and put some nice satin black on it. That way when it's on the car, it's all fresh because I got a new insulator pad for it. And I got that covered up right now because the last guy glued the insulator pad on and there's a mess. So I don't want dust blowing all over on my satin. And we're gonna go ahead and satin this. That way once we put it on the car, we don't have to worry about blowing overspray. I like to do all that before it goes on. And then we'll install the new insulator pad and this will all be fresh. Cause you guys know last night we caught in the edges with the candy all around the edge. And now I just wanna freshen this up. That way when it gets on the car, it looks nice and fresh. So we're gonna do that. And then I'm also gonna freshen up the hinges before they go back on. I gotta check into what I need for that because I wanna give that that raw metal look that looks like a factory uh, hinge would look. So I gotta cover up the doors from last night. They came out nice. They're still glossing real hard and uh, they didn't die out at all. So real happy with the, the gloss on them and how they look. So we're gonna cover these up with Visqueen and uh, go ahead and put some satin under this hood so that way it's fresh. So this is just a basic scuff down. I hit it with a little 400 and a red scuff pad. Make sure I cleaned it really well before I sanded it because you know it's under the hood. But this was already in good shape. It just had a couple little spots that could be nicer. So I wanted to make it nice and fresh. So I hit it with 400, hit it with a red scuff pad. I've already cleaned it. And now we're gonna go ahead and tack it and then put the uh, satin on it. So stay tuned as we freshen up underneath the hood. That way when this thing goes on, it's all nice and clean. So I put two coats of that on there and it's still shiny. I'll let it set up and then I'll show it to you guys after it uh, dies down a little so you can see the gloss that I'm going for on it. This will give it a real factory look when it's done and that's what I'm going for. So you guys know it's got the candy on the edge but I want the factory satin underneath. So let's let this thing set up a minute, see how glossy it is. And then we'll come back and see how it looks. We're gonna go ahead and freshen up this area too a little bit. That way it's all done when this hood goes on because it's very hard to get to when the hood's on the vehicle, so. All right, let's check out the hood now. It, it's starting to die down and it's coming to its final stage of where it's gonna stay. But look how nice of a sheen that that lays down and how that looks with just a nice semi gloss but still with a little bit of a sheen to it so it really offsets nice when you see this candy and then you see that satin so looks really nice these are the things you want to think of before you get the car built back together because it's really hard to get to this stuff So we have the uh, hood insulator pad, the brand new one. I told you I ordered it new. It's all installed. It comes with the new clips and I ordered that also from the uh, opgi.com. So look at that nice look now. We got the fresh satin with the nice edge of the candy. And then we have the new insulator pad. So it really looks nice and clean. Look at the detail in it. Man, I'm going for a really nice look. So these are the little things that are gonna step it up. Even got the squirters, brand new, nice and uh, fresh silver on them. And just nice and clean, that's how we want it to look. So we got that and we're gonna go ahead and uh, start bolting up the hinges, painting the hinges, and then installing the weather strips on the doors because we don't wanna have those scratched when they go to close. So we're gonna put the new 
weather strips on those. All right, so we got our hinges all scuffed down and uh, cleaned and we're hanging them up here to shoot them. But we got this uh, iron, cast iron looking metal paint because I want to have a factory look of the real OE hinges, how these were. And this is another Martin Senior paint product. And you guys know Sherwin Williams owns them too. So this stuff is nice. It, I've used it before and that's the part number if you're going for a metal look that looks really original and uh, gives it a nice metal paint. So let's go ahead and put some of this on. That way these hinges are fresh when they meet up to the, bo to the body of the car and the fenders. So it'll all look really nice. You'll have that gray matching up to the black and then that candy, it'll really offset it nice. So let's go ahead and shoot these real quick. So that's three coats of that uh, iron look paint and it really looks nice. It's got a factory look to it and that's what I'm going for. I like to have stuff to look factory with a little bit of custom too. So looks clean, looks nice. And now when we put that all in, it'll all look fresh. So make sure you guys check into all that stuff because once it's in the car, I was telling you, it's gonna be a pain to try to get to this to do a nice clean job. But this will be the things that separate you at these shows that look really nice and clean. So that came out nice. We got the hinges under the hood and now we'll put the uh, weather strips on the doors. I bought new soft seals for them. I got to unbag these and we'll put those on because I don't want to have any chances of this bumping the paint to paint on the body. So let's go ahead and put those weather strips on. All right, so here's the weather strips. This is for the body of the car around the actual trunk. These are the two door ones. And then this is that grommet set that I said that it has all the different rubbers for the car on it, for the doors, the stoppers for the trunk and everything else that goes on here. So we'll be putting them all back in nice and factory. That way they all look nice and it's all clean. And I even have this sticker I bought for this. So it's really gonna set it off when that goes on. So let's go ahead and put all this on. That way we don't bump paint to paint. Sometimes these can be a pain, but you see that hole in the middle? Put a little lube on the actual part of this, some kind of soap or water. And this hole on top is made for this to go in the middle of it. And you can poke it down here with this. That's why that hole is made on these. So get them poked down and that'll help them get in easier if you got a little excessive paint around the hole. So it's in now. You just take this here, take like a small Phillips head push it down into the hole and that'll get it to go down in there easier if it won't just slide in with twisting it. So that's why they put those little holes in there. So now look at that, that fresh paint with that nice fresh gasket. That way that bump stop is new and it don't bump into that trunk when it's closing. But that's how it looks when it's nice and fresh with that fresh paint, but all new little rubbers like that. So that's why I like to get them. All right, so the doors are all together as far as the uh, weather strips and the little grommets that go on them. And they look very nice and clean with all that new stuff on that nice fresh paint. So happy with that. We got them all done. And you want to put them on that way when you adjust your doors for your final adjustment, everything is in there. That way, you know, you're lined up for later because you don't want to go twisting and bending later because you didn't put the weather strips in. So I recommend putting your weather strips in 
That way everything is lined up the way you need it to be for when you're ready to uh, be done with this job. You took an account for them seals to be in there for all your adjustments. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the one in on the trunk also. That way that's sealed up nice and we can adjust that to the right uh, spot that it's gotta be for the gasket being in there. So that weather strips in and it looks nice and fresh with that new rubber and that new paint. So it's still dusty, but came out nice and this fits in here good. So now when we go to put that trunk on, we're going to be able to get that thing lined up the way that it needs to be. So start here in the middle of your um, latch mechanism and then run around and then seal it up right here in the same spot when you go all the way around. All right, so we're putting the hinges on now and they look really nice. See the offset with the, with the candy, the black, and then this uh, metal color. I like the look of that because it really gives it an offset, especially when you got these newer brake boosters near it and all that. So we're just putting these on now and then we'll be uh, bolting up the hood doors and trunk doing our adjustments and uh, we'll be ready for this thing to be fully back together enough to paint it. So let me go ahead and tighten these up and then we'll show it to you all with the hinges back on it and show you how it looks up close. All right, so you see that? And that's that metal paint that I showed you there from Martin Senior and it looks really nice like a factory metal cast look about how these came when they were new. So we got that, we got the nice candy near it. And then we also got the black we did on the uh, top of the cowl there. So that'll meet up nice with the bottom of the hood. And I bought stainless steel bolts for the back on the trunk. That way, when we put them in, they will be nice finished smooth stainless bolts and we won't have to worry about any uh, gouging on the bolts for the trunk. So I'll show you those when we put those in. But I like the way that came out with the fresh uh, paint on the hinges and then all that landing up to that nice candy. So it looks kind of cool with the offset of it. So let me go know what you guys think of it. So here's the bolts we're gonna put underneath the trunk and they got an Allen head, but these are stainless steel and they're nice and domed. And that'll look nice now when we put that on that fresh paint on the hinges going into the trunk and uh, I like that better than having to paint bolts. Just go with a nice stainless. And I got these two for the doors. Stainless bolts. These will be nice too. So just little things like this that make it look nice and clean and work out better. And it's also nice because they're stainless. They don't rust. These here I'll leave factory because those are painted. And the ones that go in here, you don't see them anyhow. But the trunk ones, I went ahead and got a nice smooth uh, domed stainless for it. So that way that's a nice little compliment on that trunk. All right, so we got the whole thing built back together and I couldn't do a lot of filming on it because this was more of a tedious job and I didn't have time to film it for you guys, but it's all adjusted. The doors are back on, the hood's back on and the trunk's on it. Let me open the hood and show you guys. So we got our, our hinges on it. And then underneath has got the nice satin, our new hood pad. Everything's working and closing down nice. I'll show you that. Our gaps are nice and straight. And looking good so far, so. Look down the body of this thing, nice and straight. And I got a little sneak peek of the color because it's actually poking out in the sun right here in the back. So check this out.
Look at that color on this thing, how nasty that looks. What an unbelievable color. And then underneath the trunk, I was telling you guys I went ahead and used nice stainless steel uh, bolts, smooth domes on them, just to give it a little nice touch so it doesn't have any uh, scratched up bolt heads. But looks all good. Look how nice that color looks. So we got it all back together. And now we're going to uh, start sanding the outside down on it and getting it all ready. So let me go ahead and close the trunk, show you the gaps. Gaps are all good. And we're all ready to go. So hope you guys like this one. Just finishing it up, putting it back together. That way we can start sanding down the outside and we should be making a video pretty soon here of actually shooting this thing. So hope you guys liked it and see you on the next one.